unfortunately uh, not as much green on the radar this afternoon as we would have liked. Yeah, everyone wants the, you know, the widespread rain. We talked about a tenth to three tenths in those scattered locations, and that's what we're getting. It's just taking a little bit more time to get here. Get to pinpoint Doppler, and you'll see pretty much across the south of Laxey, technical along the I-75 corridor. This is going to be moving into the regions of eastern Kentucky, but it's not going to be this widespread rain, which we talked about. And you'll notice that this all diving its way down to the southeast across Breathitt County, picking up on a few scattered showers. But this is the story, and that's where you get your tenth to three tenths inch of rain right there. And you'll notice we still have some forming across the Ohio River, working its way in that southeastward fashion associated with this cold front and behind cooler temperatures to follow. Look at this. The temperature change over the past 24 hours. 24 hours ago, when you compare the temperatures, we are 9 degrees cooler in Jackson, 13 degrees cooler in Louisville, and 14 degrees cooler in Indianapolis compared to 24 hours ago. Temperatures into the 70s where rain has not fallen, especially we work our way down to the Cumberland Valley, 77 there in Harlan, where forest fires are happening, 73 in Prestonsburg. But notice the 60s where the rain is actually occurring and we look into some of the smaller communities 68 in Dorton 72 in Hindman and 75 in Boonville but notice that cold front edging closer and closer to Easter Kentucky really for your best chances of rain it's going to come tonight we're talking the late hours here really around 10 o'clock to midnight you'll notice the scattered showers continuing cold front swings through and look at the temperature drop in just a matter of seven hours we're dropping to 51 degrees at 7 o'clock and you'll notice that partly cloudy conditions will continue for the region here in Eastern Kentucky will clear out and become more cool for your Friday. But this weekend going to be seasonable, beautiful weather, but really this weekend and the next week we're remaining dry, something we don't want to see, especially when we're dealing with these forest fires all associated pretty much cold front moving out. You'll notice high pressure starting to work its way in, and this has been the pattern for us in eastern Kentucky. Weak front, strong high pressure, weak front, strong high pressure, and another high pressure provides plenty of sunshine and cooler temperatures, at least for the start. But there you go. There's your dry stretch. We're talking about 70 degrees on Monday, Election Day. You're looking at 68. Beautiful day to get out there and vote. 66 for your Wednesday, 67 for Thursday. A chance, do you look at the low temperatures as well, a chance for patchy frost as we head into your Friday and Saturday. But Steve, like we talked about, scattered chances tonight. That's as best as it's going to get at least mm. for the next seven days. All right, Andrew, thanks.